one of the things that you talk about in your book that I think is a rather unique approach to the book of Revelation that you've kind of already discussed a little bit is that you say that the, the book of Revelation needs to be read through the New Testament Gospels. I've not read a lot of people that talk about that. And tell us why you think uh, we should be reading the book of Revelation through that lens. The book of Revelation needs to be recanonized, as I said, and part of that process is to know what makes canon canon. Mm -hmm. And the answer is real simple. Gospel. <laughs> Gospel makes canon canon. Uh, if something is going to be canonical in terms of the New Testament, it's got to square with the Gospels. I mean, we would never would have canonized Paul if Paul did not square sure. with Jesus. Mm -hmm. We never would have canonized Peter if Peter didn't square with Jesus, and so on and so forth. So what makes something canonical is that it conforms to the gospel. The gospel is like our foundational document. The gospel is like the Constitution of the United States of America. I right. mean, we all appeal, well, that's against the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And that question is, that's the foundation of what makes us us as the United States of America. That document, that piece of literature is definitive of what mm -hmm. we are. Well, the Gospels are definitive. They're foundational to what being a Christian is all about. It's all about Jesus. And the Gospels tell us about Jesus. For something to be canonical, it must be Gospel. And here is the question that I would ask the reader of the book of Revelation. Why would the rest of the New Testament be preaching Jesus and the cross and the Gospel? That's all you hear practically is the gospel, the gospel, the gospel, and then suddenly you get to a book of the New Testament and you're not preaching the gospel anymore. You're preaching the future, you're preaching uh, predictions about the scenarios of the end time. When we have a canonical New Testament book, I would present to you that the book of Revelation needs to preach the gospel not the future. And that would be the point of recanonizing the book, is to get the gospel message back into the book of Revelation. Yeah. I think that's what we're missing in good preaching on the book of Revelation. We don't hear the gospel. And I'm not interested in listening to a sermon that doesn't have the gospel in it. Sure. And so I, I want that gospel core. I think the the last thing I would say about recanonizing and getting back to the Gospels when you're reading Revelation is that we know what the Gospels say. Mm -hmm. And we know what the theology of Jesus is. And the Gospels make clear that there is only one answer to the question, how does God conquer evil? No matter whether you're reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, there's only one answer. Mm -hmm. All of those stories wind up at Calvary. All of those stories wind up with Jesus dying on a cross, mm -hmm. every one of them. So the story is consistent, the story never varies, and the Gospels are absolutely transparently clear that the answer to God conquering evil is the cross. And so that's why we need to remind ourselves that this book is in the New Testament, needs to be recanonized, needs to be brought back to the Gospels. So what I do in my book is I actually survey the message of Mark, the message of Luke, the message of John, the message of Matthew to help us to see some of the core elements of that Gospel message and mm -hmm. say, look here in the book of Revelation, here is where you have that core message. Oh, look, here is where you have the Gospel of Mark. For example, one of the premier titles for Jesus in the Gospel of Mark is the Son of Man. What is the opening title for the figure of Jesus in the first chapter of the book of Revelation? Son, Son of, of Man. Man. And I would just simply say that if the book of Revelation is canonical, whatever Son of Man means in the Gospel of Mark, that's probably what Son of Man means in the book of Revelation if it's canonical. So then that's why I walk through Son of Man theology in the Gospel of Mark so that by the time the reader hits Son of Man in chapter 1 of Revelation, they have a New Testament understanding of that concept sure. before they allow other concepts to be imported into the text. 
So we need to get back to the Gospels in order to read Revelation because Revelation should preach the Gospel of Jesus Christ if it preaches anything.